Hello and Namaste everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Myself Desa, civil engineer graduate from ERC Trivan University, Nepal. This is the second video of ETAPS modeling series that we are continuing with. In this video, we will define the properties of materials that are used in our structures, like of concrete and steel river. Then we will define the properties of sections of our building that we got in preliminary design. So let's get started. Once the grids are ready now, we have to define materials separately for concrete and steel. Ok, so we will go to define and then material properties. In material properties, uh, add new material. The reason is uh, we will select India, material type first will do for concrete then standard is Indian okay and grade we have M25 we are using M25 grade of concrete in our building okay here material name M25 concrete isotropic everything everything is same here and okay again we will use new material India concrete and rebar that is steel river and we are using fe500 so we will be doing uh, high strength deformation bar grade 500 that is 500 mm per mm square uh, this is our fe500 grade of steel okay and uh, river is everything is okay so we will be doing uh, okay here uh, so here what we have done here we have defined our materials that are used in our structural elements and once the grid is ready okay and we have defined all the materials next process is uh, to define the section properties so let's proceed on to make a model by creating a frame section right okay so again we will go to define and in section properties we will go to frame sections here we will go to frame sections for beams and columns and slab sections for slabs so first we will be defining frame sections for the frame sections let me tell you one thing that uh, in our uh, from our preliminary design what we have is we have M25 grade of concrete and FE500 grade of steel and the roof slab was uh, 135 mm calculated in preliminary design similarly the depth of waste slab and the landing slab for staircase was calculated 210 mm and the dimensions of beam breadth was 300 mm depth 450 mm Similar dimension of columns, breadth 400 mm, and depth is also 400. That is, our column was 400 by 400. And dimension of secondary beams was uh, breadth 200 and depth 250. So, we will be defining all these sections like uh, slab, waste slab, landing slabs, and beam, columns, secondary beams, all. Let us go to ETAPS. We will add new property. Uh, select a concrete rectangular only so this is the concrete rectangular select this and after selecting all this now name so we will be naming it beam beam 300 by 450 and the material used is m25 depth is 450 mm similarly breadth is 300 mm and for the reinforcement we will go to modify or slurry bar and in this we will do design only for beam here longitudinal bar 500 this is also 500 
and the cover to longitudinal rebar group center top bars cover 60 mm and bottom bar 60 mm will lift uh, leave this as it is okay and so we have defined for our primary beam now okay again add new property in new property we will be doing for secondary beam secondary beam of the size sorry uh, secondary beam size 200 by 250 secondary beam 200 by 250 uh, so grade is m25 and depth here is 250 and then weight is 200 now we will go to reinforce modifier so rebar uh, for beam only here 500 500 leave all each and everything as it is uh, okay and okay now we will add another property for column we will give a name column 400 by 400 and it will be m25 depth and width are same for the column so we will be using 400 by 400 modifier so river for column 500 and 500 so reinforced to be checked here uh, we, we are checking not designing now and longitudinal bar size we are using 20 mm and con bar, con bar size also 20 mm and area it has self calculated by the e taps so leave as it is and everything is okay okay so we have defined our we have defined our beam columns and secondary beam now we have roof slab and waist and landing slabs okay so we have defined beam column and secondary beam for our frame sections okay now let's go to define and in section properties we will go to slab sections in slab we will add new property so let us name it roof slab 135 roof slab 135 it's m25 yeah and modeling type it's cell thin here we can see cell thin cell thick membrane uh, all these types what are the differences in cell thin type for some portions of the loads are transferred to beam from the slab and some portions uh, remain on the slab itself and in cell thick when a huge portion of load is resisted by slab and with huge portion of load is carried by the slab then we will use cell thick and in membrane all 100% load is transferred to the beam not a single portion of load is carried by the slab in that case we will use membrane and in membrane type we will have to do meshing so let it be uh, automatic or manual but when we are using cell thin but when we are using cell thin we do not have to do meshing of the slabs here uh, it has will do it automatically with itself and the portion of the loads will be carried by the slab because it is able to bear some loads and the, some portions will be transferred to beam so here we will be using cell thin and later on we do not have to do meshing of the slabs and thickness of slab is 135 mm as calculated in our as calculated in our preliminary design okay so we have uh, added rope slab and then we will add a new property of staircase slab yeah staircase slab of 210 mm here we will uh, this is m25 and we will be using silk thin again here and the depth is 210 mm uh, thickness of the staircase slab staircase slab means both landing slab and the waist slab so both comes in staircase slab 
so we will use it here uh, 210 mm okay so we have defined roof slab staircase slab okay now we can see here we have defined uh, roof slab we have defined waste and landing slabs we have defined our primary beam uh, we have defined columns we have defined secondary beams so we have defined all the structural elements that we are using in our building yeah, here you can see in the section properties in frame sections here find this property in this using this define tool here we can create any number of cross-sectional properties for beams and columns of varying dimensions and will be listed here in this uh, find the property column which lets you choose the particular type of property while generating the model uh, while generating the model when we have to assign the sections we can find each and everything here in find the property like beam 300 by 450 column 400 by 400 secondary beam 200 by 250 so we will be getting all those things here okay so we can create the multiple things that we require uh, again you can see here in the section properties we have wall sections it means that you can create your wall by yourself in the etabs and then you do not have to give the wall loads manually etabs will calculate the wall loads itself uh, all the dead loads but uh, defining and assigning wall section is time consuming and we have to uh, we have to reduce all the openings that are included in the walls that means uh, if your wall volume is 100 percent then such percentage of volume you have to reduce because of its opening because the openings will not give the load as the wall does okay so it may be the time consuming so we will be calculating our wall loads it is simple i will show you in the coming videos and we will calculate the wall load and we will assign the wall loads only on the beam so we shall not be defining wall sections and we will not be assigning the wall in our model so we have defined our materials and we have defined our section properties yeah metal properties and section property definition is all finished uh, in the next video we will define the load patterns load combination mass source and diaphragm so this was content for this video and in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to define load patterns load combination mass source and diaphragms i'll show you what are the different load patterns what are the different load combination mass source and diaphragm so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel share with your friends this is useful to all the civil engineering students as well as the civil engineers who are willing to learn the modeling and designing in etabs etabs uh, for all the structural analysis of buildings especially uh, etabs is required so this might be this might be useful to all of you all of us okay so please uh, do subscribe my channel and stay updated stay tuned for the more videos thank you we'll see you in the next video